So many kids do not go out in the natural world on their own. They're inside playing video games and computers or whatever. They're not going outside. They're not hiking in the woods uh, the way kids used to do a long time ago, um, even when I was a kid. Um, so that's the first part of what we're doing. We're getting them outside. We're getting them excited about nature. The second thing we want to do is teach kids really important concepts about science. We're giving them a real depth of understanding about what they're learning because we're really deep down, hands into whatever we're doing through experiments, games, hikes through the woods, everything. They are just totally involved with what they're doing. And the third thing that's important to us is to help foster an environmental ethic. The kids of today, who will be the leaders tomorrow, have those um, concern about protecting the environment and the knowledge of how to go about to do that, even at the level they're at. All of these birds have some type of permanent injury um, that they went through rehab and they didn't actually make it all the way through rehab, that their injury healed but not well enough for them to survive on their own. All except our peregrine falcon. Because she was bred in captivity, she cannot be released. So this is a turkey vulture, and um, it is uh, basically a scavenger. And so you can see some of the great adaptations that she has that puts her into that category. Her nose is so big that you literally can see from one side straight through and see daylight on the other side. So they can smell their food about a mile away. This is um, an immature bald eagle. She's only about two and a half years old. That's why she doesn't have a white head and complete white tail yet. Bald eagles in general are very smart birds and all of these birds are. And that's what we deal with a lot as trainers. Every interaction that we have with them is training. And we try to make it mutually beneficial training session. So both of us are getting out of it what we want. The greatest resource we have is our staff. I think that's a large part of our success. And then in terms of the other resources, the Nature House is a wonderful example of green technology. And then this building that we're in, the Critter House, is probably the favorite building for the children in that we have a large number of animals here that uh, the kids love to see. It's great to have this kind of land, and we're located right in the middle of Ann Arbor. We are so fortunate to have some grant-funded programs that we can reach the kids who don't necessarily have those opportunities, as well as the people who just walk around here in the public. So we're always engaging, and we're, and we're meeting folks with where they are.